Hi there, friend. Good morning to you. This is Lee Posky. Today, I have a message of great hope for anyone who's in a dark spiritual place. First, I'm going to go to God in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord, that you please effectively communicate through me your message of great hope. And I pray for the salvation of lost souls who hear this message. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now then, are you somebody who's made a mess of your life? Are you embarrassed by it all? Do you wish you could go back and make some better choices? Are you a nobody in the scheme of things? And do you cringe at the offenses that you've committed against God and against other people? And would you rate yourself as below average if you were to compare yourself to others? Well, friend, join the club because that describes me too. But you know what? It's been one of the greatest blessings that a person can have, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you this so that you, too, can benefit from your situation like I have. Did you ever think about the fact that God chooses the dregs of society to pour his love on? It's true. The societal rejects, the failures, the nobodies like us. Hear what God tells us in the Bible about it in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Therefore, I tell you, the more of a nobody you are, the more of an outcast you are, the better. Why? Because we're the ones who are actually grateful for the charity of God. I mean, who else but us societal rejects are going to rejoice over being the righteousness of God? The proud, successful people, they don't care anything about that. They have their own successes to identify with. But who else but us, who know what disgustingly evil things we've done, will melt in gratitude it's just the notion of being forgiven of our incalculable sin guilt. We, we people who intimately know what wickedness we've committed. And why do you think I'm so excited personally all the time over being the righteousness of God? It's because I know that the only thing I deserve is to be thrown into hell. So, dear friend, I don't know what sins you've committed, and I don't need to know what sins you've committed. All that matters is that you know how base and hell-deserving you really are. Because if you know that about yourself, you're ahead of 99% of humanity. You're in the position to grab righteousness by faith, the only way that you can have it. So won't you do like I did and receive the righteousness of God as a free gift? You've already established the first half of justification. You own your sin guilt. Now... It's time for you to enter into God's rest. Be the righteousness of God as a free gift, simply by taking God as it, at his word. Listen to what God tells you in Romans 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Praise God. All right. Well, I thank you so much for sharing some of your valuable time with me. And all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ and no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.